Readings for the day, 2022, on Tuesday, August 2nd. The readings from the regular cycle. The epistle, Tuesday of the 8th week. The reading is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brethren, God was not pleased with most of the fathers, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things are warnings for us, not to desire evil as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them were, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to dance. We must not indulge in immorality as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test, as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as a warning, but they were written down for our instruction, upon whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. The Gospel, Tuesday of the eighth week of Matthew. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Lord said to his disciples, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. And they discussed it among themselves, saying, We brought no bread. But Jesus, aware of this, said, O men of little faith, why do you discuss among yourselves the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive? Do you not remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets you gathered, or the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets you gathered? How is it that you fail to perceive that I did not speak about bread? Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he did not tell them to beware of the leaven of, the, of bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. The readings for the commemoration, the epistle for the proto-martyr, the reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogues of the freedmen, as it was called, and of the Cyrenians and the Alexandrians, and of those from Cilicia and Asia, arose and disputed with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit which or with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated men who said, We have heard him speak blasph we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God, and they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes, and they came upon him and seized him and brought him before the council, and set up false witnesses who said, This man never ceases to speak words against the holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs which Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that his custom, er, that his face was like the face of an angel. And the high priest said, Is this so? And Stephen said, Brethren and fathers, hear me. The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia before he lived in Haran and said to him, Depart from your land, from your kindred, and go into the land which I will show you. Then he departed from the land of the Chaldeans and lived in Haran, and after his father died, God removed him from there into his land in which you are now living, yet he gave him no inheritance in it, not even a foot's length, 
but promised to give it to him in possession and to his posterity after him, though he had no child, but it was Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses made with hands, as the prophet says, Heaven is my throne, and earth my footstool. What house will you build for me, says the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hand make all these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did you did not your fathers persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered. You who received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it, now when they heard these things they were enraged and they ground their teeth against him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together upon him. And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he knelt down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. The Gospel for the Proto-Martyr The reading is from the, is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Lord said this parable, A man planted a vineyard, and set a hedge around it, and dug a pit for the wine press, and built a tower, and let it out to tenants, and went into another city. When the time came, he, went, he sent a servant to the tenants to get from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. And they took him and beat him and sent him away empty-handed. Again he sent to them another servant, and they wounded him in the head and treated him shamefully. And he sent another, and him they killed. And so with many others, some they beat and some they killed. He had still one another, a beloved son. Finally he sent him to them saying they will respect my son but those tenants said to one another this is the heir come let us kill him and the inheritance will be ours and they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard what will the owner of the vineyard do he will come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others have you not read this scripture? The very stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they tried to arrest him, but feared the multitude, for they perceived that he had told the parable against them. So they left him and went away. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synexarion. The Synexarion from the Manayon. On August 2nd, we commemorate the recovery of the relic of St. Stephen, the proto-martyr and archdeacon. On this day, we also commemorate the finding of the relics of the holy martyrs Maximus, Daras, and Quintilian. On this day, we also commemorate the consecration of the holy church of St. John the Theologian, apostle and evangelist near the most holy great church on this day we commemorate the holy martyr phocas and also the emperor justinian of pious memory and the church of the holy apostles by the whole by the intercession by the intercessions of your saints O god have mercy on us amen 
Fasting rule is strict. Refrain from meat, fish, wine, oil, dairy, and eggs. It is the Dormition fast.